Hi, welcome. Here's your writing lesson for today, 6.9. We are mainly going to focus over the adjectives in writing, okay? And we're going to try to add some adjectives in our writing. Does anyone remember what an adjective is? Adjective. All right. What's a noun? Person. Very good. So we're going to be adding adjectives to our writing today. But before we start, I want us to watch this uh, Schoolhouse Rock video that I like to watch. It's a lot of fun, and it's going to help us come up with some good adjectives. So listen to the adjectives they use in the video. To begin our show, unpack your adjectives. Got home from camping last spring. Saw people, places, and things. We barely had a ride. Friends asked us to describe the people, places, and every last thing. places or things they describe the person places or things so adjective it's a word that describes a noun so um, let's talk about words that describe weather so they what are the words that describe weather that we just watched in the video they said sunny rainy cloudy snowy foggy windy how about cold? Yes, cold. The cold. Sometimes if the weather's cold, can't isn't cold, doesn't cold describe something? Yeah. Yes, so how about cold, hot, humid, warm, uh, warm nice. Aren't those all adjectives? 
Very good. Okay. Let's go back to this um, example that we are reading. You need this example out, you, this model, and you also need a highlighter. We're going to reread this poem. And this time, as we read the poem, we're going to look at specific words. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's see. So we're looking for words to help describe the kite here because the title is My Kite in the Wind. So we're looking for the words to describe the kite. The brisk wind hisses in my ear. What kind of wind hisses, hisses in his ear? The brisk wind. The brisk wind. Very good. So we're going to highlight the word brisk because it describes the wind, right? Okay, it's not letting me highlight. Let me see why. Oh, yes, it did. Okay, the brisk wind. Let's see. Hisses in my ear, letting me know that it is near. Is near a adjective? Yes, near, far, wherever you are, right? Those are, that's an adjective. I race the wind with my bright red kite. What, what color is the kite? Okay, it's not dark. Is it dark red? It's bright red. So is bright an adjective? Yes, it describes the color red. Red is also an adjective because it describes the kite. So bright and red are adjectives. And on the blustery wind's wings, what kind of wind? The blustery wind's wings. I stop and watch my kite take flight. Is flight an adjective? No. Flight is a verb. It's something that it's doing. A fresh wind rushes for my kite. What? I'm sorry. A fresh wind rushes for my kite. What kind of wind? A fresh wind. Lifting it almost out of sight. Breezes blowing with a swoosh. What is it doing? It's blowing. The breezes The breezes are blowing. Oh, you're right. Blowing is a verb. My bad. It's something that it's doing. It's okay. All right. Let's see. What else? Let's see. Oh, I can't. Uh, it's not letting me erase it. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, there we go. Okay. And on the blustery wind's wings, where's blustery? Good job. I stand and watch my kite go whoosh. Very good. Excellent job. All right, let's see. Um, the model poem is about windy weather. I think there are a lot of words to tell how windy sounds. So let's write these words that let us know how windy sounds. Oh, I'm sorry, before we get there. I'm sorry, before we get there. Very good, swoosh and whoosh. Okay, for, before we do that, I'm sorry, we have to read the poem together one more time. You ready? Let's read it together on three. One, two, three. My kite in the wind. The brisk wind hisses in my ear, letting me know it is near. I race the wind with my bright red kite, and on the blustery wind's wings, I stop and watch my kite take flight. A fresh wind rushes for my kite, lifting it almost out of sight. Breezes blowing with a swoosh, and on the blustery wind's wings, I stand and watch my kite go whoosh. Excellent. How many stanzas are there here again? Two. two. One, two. Stanzas are like the paragraphs in a poem. There are two stanzas here. Each stanza tells us about the kite and when it takes flight. All right, so let's talk about sensory details. Go ahead and flip to the next page or on the back. It says sensory details chart. Think about your audience. Add some sensory details to help them hear, feel, taste, smell, and details in your poem. So I'm going to write some stuff down here. You're not going to write the same thing as me. You're later going to do this, filling it in about your poem. 
Now I'm going to do this based on the model poem that they gave us above, this model poem. All right. So in the model poem, in the weather is what? Windy. windy. Are you writing windy here? No. You're, you're going to do yours later based off of your poem. I'm doing this one. This is just an example of what you are doing. When I think about the poem, Wendy, I might see, hear, feel, taste, and smell. You might see, smell. Uh, let's see. How does, let's start with the, what we hear. How does the wind sound? So I write these wow. words in my chart. How did that wind sound? Wow. It hisses, rustles, sighs, crackles, go, groans, moans, swishes, and swooshes. Wow. Right? Yeah, I understand it's loud, but what kind of sounds are l described loud? Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Swishes, swishes, swooshes. I'm going to write that down. Swishes. Okay. Swooshes. Are you writing this down? You bet. No, no, you're not. Okay, swishes, swooshes, uh, moans, groans, crackles. I like crackles. Swishes, swooshes, crackles. You guys know what crackles is? Like when it cracks, crackles. Okay. Uh, let's see, what else? What do we hear? What do we hear? Here. Okay. Yes, it is loud, but I guess, yeah. Swooshes. Yes. Uh, you don't see it swishes. Yes, you can. You can see things. You can see things swishes and swooshes. You can see the leaves swish and swoosh in the air. Yes, you can. Uh, let's see. But, you know, you're right. Crackles is more of something you hear. You can see swishes and swooshes, but crackles is more of something you hear. I'm going to put crackles here because crackles is a sound. Uh, let's see. What else? Rumble. That's a good one. All right. Now I'm going to move on and talk about feel. What is something I feel? feel when it's windy. Raise your hand. Uh, yes. Okay, chilly. That's a good one. Anyone else? Yes? What is that? That's just another way to say that. Breezy. Right? Maybe breezy or brisk. Brisk means like kind of cold. Yesterday it was a little brisk in the at late afternoon. Okay, chilly, breezy, brisk. Uh, what else? How about cold? Don't you feel cold? Yeah. Yes, that's just a simple cold. All right, now let's talk about taste. Do we taste anything in the wind? No. no. I mean, if you keep your mouth open and it's windy, what's something that we may taste? Water. No. Air. You don't really taste air. The air doesn't have a taste. Not water. But what happens to your mouth? It's Dry. Very good. So maybe, maybe if you have your mouth open, then you feel, your mouth starts to feel dry. And do we really smell anything? No. Sometimes we do. Maybe fresh air. Very good. We smell fresh air. Sometimes it feel it smells what? Clean, right? Yeah. Clean. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it smells grassy. 
Just depends on what's what, what's the wind blowing to your nose today. All right, write a sentence using two of your sensory details. So I'm going to write a sentence. Let's see. I'm going to say the wind swooshes, or how about what kind of wind? How does it feel? The breezy wind swooshes onto my, uh, yes, the breezy wind swooshes on my face, making my mouth feel fresh and dry. How about that? Would that be a good one? It would. And all I did is use my sensory language there. So what you guys are going to do now is I want you to fill in this paper based on your writing. So you're going to write what, what the weather is for your poem here. And then you're going to come up with some words that you can see, hear, feel, taste, or smell. I need at least two or three words. If you can come up with more for one of them, that's fine. Okay? And, that, and that's all you're going to do today. Tomorrow we're going to add this in our writing. Today we're just going to write. We're just going to do this part. Okay? If you have any questions, let me know. I will see you later. Bye.